Hi there and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial from helpvid.net Today we're going to be creating a favicon in Photoshop Now, what is a favicon? Just go over to my website and here the small icon that appears and here in the address bar It makes your website look a little bit more professional and it also it's when somebody bookmarks your site that little icon will be there so I've really been surprised over the years the amount of really good websites I've come across that don't have a favicon they just have a wee blank page in there and they've been really good developed sites as well so we'll just move on and develop this favicon we want to open up Photoshop and we're going to file and new and we want the width to be 50 and the height to be 50 and click OK. Now that uh, small address bar that houses your favicon can only house something that is an ICO file so we're going to need to convert this. It also only holds something that is 16 pixels by 16 pixels. The reason why we're working at 50 by 50 is just to give us a larger area to work in and then we will shrink the image down. If you feel you can work in a smaller area then by all means do so as the smaller the area you need to uh, shrink the less sharpness you will lose on your image. So we'll just come over to the colours palette and we'll select a colour. We'll just do something very simple uh, for time and we'll click on the small paint bucket here on your toolbar uh, palette here and we'll just fill this in black next we want to come across to the bottom right hand side here this is your layers palette and you want to click on the small page that is overturned and this will give us a new layer so we want to double click on layer 1 and call it text then we'll come over to our tools palette again and click on the T for text and then we'll come up and we'll change this colour, just change it to something you can easily recognise, the yellow colour there. Click OK and we'll just come down onto our image and you can do anything, you can make a redesign on this. I really recommend that you spend your time in here eh, developing your favicon because as far as putting it into the Dreamweaver is just one line of code very quick. So we'll just type something in here, two letters, TS. Next we want to come back to our layers palette, hold down the control or command key on your keyboard and click on background. This will select both text and background. Then we'll come up again to our tools palette and select this small move tool. And then on your bar at the top you want to align vertical and align horizontally. This will place your letters in the middle of your background. So that's it done just for quickness and simplicity. We'll just go to image image size and we want to make this 16 pixels by 16 pixels click OK as you can see it's shrunk so it's barely visible next we'll come to file uh, save and we want to save this we'll give it a name we'll just call TS fav and we want to save this as a PNG file we'll click save to desktop so it's easy to find and here it is here there's just a couple I made earlier so here it is here next we want to come over to helpvid.net website and click on the informations link then in here you can also find the favicon html needed here but we're just going to go to the free ICO converter, click on there and it will take us to this website that allows us to convert PNG files to ICO format. That is what it needs to be housed in here, the little address bar. So click browse to browse our computer and just scroll down to find our little image. Here it is here, just click on it, click open and click on convert. Uh, click on download and then up here in the right hand side of your screen you will see your small favicon that is it it's been converted so we want to hold our cursor over it right click click on save image as and we just keep this as a TS favicon but we'll add a number to it so we can tell uh, it's the converted symbol so just click on save so we'll come back over and minimise our browser 
and here we have the TS Fav 2. So we don't need this other one, we can just put this in the recycle bin. And we want to hold, click and hold down on this and I've actually got Dreamweaver open at the moment so I'm just going to drag it over the minimised Dreamweaver in my toolbar. That'll open up Dreamweaver. I'm going to come across to my Images folder and I'm just going to drop it into Images. Just delete that old one. So there it is in your Images folder. Now we want to come to the Code view. Now Favicon should be placed in between opening and closing head tags. So here's the opening head tag here on line 3. And if we scroll down, the closing head tag is ni line 90. So anywhere in between there. But just so it's easy to find, I'll just put it straight after the head tag. The opening head tag. So I'll hit enter. I'll just zoom in so you can see this code here. It's just very simple, one line of code. We want to put in open angle bracket L I N K for link space R E L equals open double quotations shortcut space icon close double quotations space H R E F equals open double quotation now what's happening is a small window will appear saying uh, giving you the option to browse for your image basically what you're going to put in is the path of where your image is so ours is in our images folder and then it's followed by the name of the file so just to avoid any mistakes we will actually just click on browse and it will take us inside our images folder we'll just click on TS Fav 2 and OK and as you can see it's put it in there images TS fav 2ico so we just want to click make sure on the end after the double quotations and we'll just click on close that is the close angle bracket so just click refresh back to design view click file save all it will ask you to update because we've got other pages linked here so we'll just update everything that's it done next I want to come to small globe and preview in Firefox and as you can see your small favicon has appeared here in your tab and it's also appeared here in the address bar so that's how to make a favicon and it really adds that wee bit extra to your website it makes it look that little bit more professional so Thanks for watching and until the next tutorial, stay safe.